addition using the near double strategy. To use the near double strategy, you need to know what doubles are. Doubles are when you double a number or add it together with itself, like one plus one or two plus two or three plus three, etc. You need to know these doubles facts off by heart in order to use the near double strategy that I'm about to teach you. So let's quickly go back over our doubles. If I double one, I get two. Double two is four. Double three is six. Double four is eight. Double five is 10. Double six is 12. Double seven is 14. Double eight is 16. Double nine is 18. And double 10 is 20. See if you can remember these facts for your near doubles. The next thing we need to know is what does a near double actually look like? Let's have a look at this one. One plus two, our numbers are close together. The double we're looking at is double one. This is what double one looks like. The near double is one more, one plus two. So we can use our knowledge of double one to solve our near double. Let's check out another one. Seven plus eight is a near double of seven and seven. This is what double seven looks like. And one more makes seven plus eight, which is a near double. Eight plus nine is a near double of eight plus eight. It's one more. Here is nine plus 10. It's a near double of nine plus nine, which looks like this. It's just one more. Nine plus 10 is our near double. 10 plus 11 is a near double of 10 plus 10. It's one more. So we can use 10 plus 10 to help us solve this problem, 10 plus 11. 12 plus 13 is also a near double. It is just one more than 12 plus 12. So how can we use this knowledge to help us solve problems? Well, if we find two numbers that are very close to being doubles, then we can use our knowledge of doubles and just add a few more. Let's have a look at two plus three. Three is just one more than two. We're gonna use double two to help us solve this problem. Two plus two we know is four, and one more makes five. So two plus three must be five. Let's have a look at four plus five. Our closest double is double four. We know that four plus four is eight, but now we add the extra one. So eight and one more make nine. Therefore, four plus five must be nine. If we look at five plus six, what double could we use? Yes, we could use double five. Double five is 10, five plus five is 10. So then we just add the extra one. 10 and one more make 11. So five plus six, equals 11. Let's have a look at what we're actually doing in our heads. Two plus three, we're gonna use double two. Two plus two is four. Now when we look at our problem, three is one more. So our answer must be one more than four. Four and one more is five. So two plus three is five. Let's take a closer look at five plus six. Now six is one more than five. So we're gonna use double five and then we'll add one more. Five plus five gives us 10. Now we need to add our one more. 10 and one more makes 11. So five plus six must be 11. Let's take a look at eight plus nine. We're going to use double eight, but nine is one more than eight. So we're going to have to add one more after we do our doubling. Double eight gives us 16. Now we add our one more that came from the nine. 16 plus one more gives us 17. Let's do seven plus six. This time we're gonna use seven as our double. Double seven gives us 14, but the number six in our problem is one less than seven. So we're gonna have to take one away. 14 take away one gives us 13. So seven plus six is 13. 
Let's do another one like that. 4 plus 3. We're going to use double 4. So 4 plus 4 is going to give us 8. But remember, 3 is 1 less than 4. So we're going to have to take 1 away. 8 take away 1 gives us 7. So 4 plus 3 equals 7.